This is the rather fine entrance gates to the Wallace and Burns Memorial. This was donated by the Calgary Burns Club to commemorate the, bar the Bard's 250th anniversary of his birth. This is the entrance to the rather fine monument beside the River Air at Ockham Crove, dedicated to William Wallace and also to Robert Burns. Now these are the Legoland Woods. Robert Burns came here walking all the way from Mount Oliphant. He'd been given a book about the history of Scotland regarding William Wallace. He'd been given it by Nellie Kilpatrick's father and upon reading it, he became very enthused and very patriotic. So whilst he was here, he got inspiration for Scots Wahé. Now William Wallace used these woods more than once. One occasion, we got into trouble down in Eyre. Being bored of his time here, he went down to Eyre was regarding the Wallace's heel, where he was being chased by soldiers, jumped onto the bank and apparently left a heel mark that uh, a spring came forth from. He managed to escape back to these woods. He was here in the first place, because as legend goes, he'd been fishing beside the River Irvine at Kilmarnock, or Rickerton, where what is thought to be his uncle lived, Rickerton Castle, and a couple of uh, English soldiers came up and demanded that he give them the fish that he'd caught. Now, he didn't have a weapon, but he managed to disarm one of them, killed a couple, injured the others, which means he had to flee. But at the time, Ockencrove was held by the Wallaces, and uh, his uncle looked after him, fed him, but he hid within the woods. On a much more serious occasion, he was down in air where he was set upon by a whole group of soldiers. After a great fight, he was thrown into the toll booth, left there to starve. They thought he was dead and he was thrown onto the cowp. But uh, I think it was his nanny, a lady, asked to have his body so she could bury him, he discovered there were signs of life and she nursed him back to health. This fine monument was placed here in 1929. Recently been Burns Night, hence the reeds. And down here is the River Air with the Oswald Bridge and uh, Ochta as it used to be called, Ochta Crove, stands in the distance, say once owned by the Wallaces, passed for a number of hands to the Oswalds and after the Oswalds it passed to Hannah, Mr Hannah who gave the estate to the Agricultural College.